Hi, I want to show you how to do some iPad settings adjustments. Network, passcode, and touch ID, location, and sound. Setting a passcode. Use a simple four-digit passcode so you do not waste time typing in a long, complicated passcode each time. And you should adjust the required passcode time to probably at least five minutes. Also, never try to guess another person's passcode. With your new iPads, you could use Touch ID along with your passcode. Under Touch ID and Passcode, make sure that iPad Unlock is selected, meaning it shows the green. The Apple Pay and iTunes App Store may um, either be grayed out or if they are not grayed out, make sure that you do not turn those on. Add a fingerprint from a finger on each hand the thumb or index finger works best. You must still have a passcode but Touch ID will unlock your iPad much faster. Under um, Privacy press on Location Services and that will show you a list of all the apps that are keeping track of where you are. Also under um, the Privacy Settings if you press on Photos you'll see all of the apps that have access to your photos. Some apps absolutely need access to your photos while others you maybe don't need to provide access. Also under privacy are location settings. You can determine which apps are accessing your location. New in iOS 8 is the ability to set it to always while using or never. You control it all here. Sounds can have a way of disrupting the class completely. So, under Sounds and Settings, select None, or in the case of Lock Sounds and Keyboard, click Set Those to Off. Ringtones are only for phones, so you cannot select None, but they will not play on an iPad. Do not be the student that disrupts class with email message sounds. Wi-Fi Connection once you come on campus, you should automatically be connected to DA. Go into Settings, press on Wi-Fi, and look for a check mark next to DA. If you do not have one, use the following slides to troubleshoot your Wi-Fi connection. Once you have pressed on the Settings gear, press on Wi-Fi. You may or may not be connected. You will want to choose the DA network. Once you've chosen the DA network, you will be asked to enter in a password. Enter in your school username and password and then press join. It may take a few seconds, but you should have a certificate screen show up which will ask you to accept. If you do not accept, you will not be able to connect to our protected network. This screen shows that you have been successful. You have a check mark next to DA and in the left hand corner you have a good Wi-Fi signal. The last setting adjustment is for mail. Press on mail, contacts and calendars, then press on DA email. Make sure that DA email is set to one month for the mail days to sync. It may already be set that way. If you not do this, you will not always see older email messages.